I will show you guys the basics of getting on and off of a hoverboard and I'll also show you how to function on it without falling off. So for the first hour or two, I actually had to have people hold on to me. I wasn't wearing shoes just so I could feel my feet a little better and I could not ride on it on my own for an extended period of time. And then I got used to it guys and I want to show you guys the best way that I I guess picked up on how to ride on this without falling off. I did fall off yesterday though, that was down at Wellington Point. I got caught on a little crack and I came ass over to it, fell on my back and really hurt my wrist guys. But I'll show you the basics of how to ride on this anyway. First things first, get used to the hoverboard without turning it on. Get used to how it feels and the fact that it'll actually move back and forth based on where you put your foot. So just get used to that first. And then obviously you have to turn it on and the first thing is make sure you use your most dominant foot. So the foot that you kick a ball with or the foot that you feel most stable on. Put that onto the hoverboard first. Uh, so your least dominant foot at the back. And then you basically put onto the left hand side as far as you can. That's for me personally, I use my left foot. If it's the right foot, put it as far as you can off to the right hand side. And try to get a nice center point where the tips of your toes are just hanging over and the ball of your feet are on the back of the track pad or the sensor pad. Basically what you do is you lean forward on the balls of your feet if you want to go forward and then on the heels of your feet if you want to go back and then you alternate if you want to turn around. You also have to be confident when you jump onto it. You can't just kind of put your foot on and then kind of feel it and then jump on otherwise it will move forward with you. So you need to kind of get your foot hovering over it and then you jump on like so. And then when you've done that guys, you lean forward and lean back. And it's one of those motions that you'll slowly get used to after a period of time. And then you'll notice your brain just doing it for you. You don't even have to think about it. Um, but for the first hour or so, I was constantly thinking about, do I lean over? What do I do here? Um, so this is pretty much how you get on it. And then when you want to get off, you take your most dominant foot off first and then you step off like so. And that's actually the hardest part. That's something that took me a while to get used to. Um, but after a few, I guess, practice runs, I really got used to it, guys. So I'm feeling pretty confident on it now. I can kind of go back and forth with some pace. I can spin around and I've gone out onto the road and I've been truly getting used to it. So I guess I've started to pick it up now. So I'll go back and forth. I'll set the camera up so you can see it. Um, but it's as simple as that, guys. You need to be confident. Make sure you have a nice center balance point. Use your uh, most prominent foot first or your the foot that you're most confident with, your primary foot. And then you jump on, guys. And it's the same when you get off. Left foot, right foot. Boom. Anyway guys, that's the basics of how to get on and off of a hoverboard. Uh, I would love to know how you guys go in the comments below. If you do have one of these, let me know what kind of things you've been doing on it, how you feel it rides, and if you've ever fallen off before. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to have a splendid day and peace out.